Uh, hi, I'm Dave Malloy, and I'm the writer of Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812, and uh, this show is my Broadway debut in, in many, many ways. I'm Heath Saunders. I play guitar and am in the ensemble of Comet. My name is Celia May Rubin. I'm a swing and an assistant dance captain on Great Comet on Broadway. I am a roving musician and ensemble member. This is my Broadway debut. I am in the ensemble and I play clarinet and it's my Broadway debut and... She plays the clarinet like a boss. I'm in the ensemble and I understudy Princess Mary and Sonia. I'm Bradley King, lighting designer for Natasha Pier and the Great Comet 1812. When I started working on this show, this one did not exist. I'm Grace McLean. I play Maria D in The Great Comet. And um, this show changed my life. Um, Comet has just been life-changing to me, this entire journey. I'm Pearl Ryan. I'm in the ensemble of Great Comet, and I'm also a roving musician. I'm Josh Canfield, and I'm in the ensemble and understudy Anatole. I play accordion in The Great Comet of 1812. I've been with the show since 2014. Hi, I'm Josh Groban. I play Pierre in Natasha Pierre in The Great Comet of 1812. It is my Broadway debut. What? That, it... <laughs> Back at ours, no, but we didn't know what we had. Uh, we just really loved it and we were eager to share it with people. And it's just so exciting to me that we get to share it with so many people now. With this move, uh, we're bringing this uh, incredibly unique form of storytelling uh, to a much wider audience. And I think that that is allowing uh, a much larger group of future artists to see what is possible. Um, I wrote down a few things um, about what I see in it and what I get out of it. I feel like one of the biggest things that it means to me is the magic that can happen when you are unafraid to be yourself. Bonjour! My name is Mary Spencer Knapp. I'm one of the roving accordionists in Great Comet. This is my Broadway debut, as well as my first professional theater production. This is the show that kind of said, hey, you're cool and you're interesting and you should just do you in this and go. Um, comet means freedom. It means you're free to be who you are. You are your type in your most authentic form. Hi, I'm Erica Dorfler and I'm in the ensemble. I'm Brian Schweppe and I do props. And this is my husband. This craziest, insanely talented, surprising, uh, and unique, diverse group of people, many of whom I've been working on this show with for many, many years. I have been in The Great Comet of 1812 for over four years now. I started with the first uh, Casino production. Hi there, my name is Lulu Fall. I am in the cast of Great Comet. Uh, I understudy Maria and Helene, and I have been a part of this crazy ride since 2013. The way that we have cast Comet that Rachel and all of our other creatives have picked this and assembled this group of people to come together and tell this story. That is thrilling and I cannot wait for more theater to be like that. The fact that we include people of all different races and we showcase all different sexualities in the show, um, that part is the most important to me. I um, swing all the female and male ensemble and I also understudy Anatole and Andre and Bokonski. This is my Broadway debut. My name is Brad Martinez. I am the dance captain over at The Great Comet. I'm Brad Giovanni, and I am one of the swings in The Great Comet Broadway family. Scott Stanglin here. I played Pierre uh, up at ART in 2015, and I am now the standby Pierre on Broadway. Um, for me, this show is about what it means to be present with other people, some of whom you know, some of whom you don't. Like I'm celebrated as an individual, um, not only as a character, but even just in like the movement style itself. I feel like I have like a voice as an artist in this show. Introduced me to some of the most brilliant, eclectic, nuanced uh, artists that I'll ever meet in my life. These are friendships that I will be lucky to have for the rest of my life. I am often overcome with love for my cast and creative team. I love these people. They're all weirdos. And I look forward to coming to work every day to work with them. 
Uh, I learn something new from this ensemble every day. They're the most outrageous, hilarious, athletic, soulful, awesome people um, telling this incredible story that has like taught me how to live better. To tell a story about human beings who are lost and messy and searching and vulnerable, who are selfish and make terrible decisions, who lose love, dignity, and nearly lose their life because of those decisions. Because it's just showing people going through the throes of life. It's a celebration of how large life can be and, and the, the joy of celebration and drinking and dancing and, and singing and um, those huge moments of community, but then also uh, how small life can be and how these very tiny moments of, of intimacy and grace um, are the things that save us. To get to tell and perform this story of people who in their wretchedness and loss recognize and love and forgive is the challenge and the gift that yeah changed my life i'll never forget this experience thank you i mean what are we listening to